Good morning. Uh, in this session, we are going to study tree multiplexer. Now, if you recall what we have studied in our previous classes about the multiplexer, we studied what is multiplexer, type of multiplexer, and how we construct multiplexer with the help of different type of logic gate. Now in this session, we are going to study dream multiplexer, the definition of dream multiplexer, the type, different type of dream multiplexer, and also how can we construct dream multiplexer with the help of logic kit. Now the definition of dream multiplexer. So dream multiplexer, it is actually the complete opposite of multiplexer. So can you recall the definition of multiplexer? Now, we have defined multiplexer as multiplexer is a digital switch where it will take multiple input and it will give single output. So, Demultiplexer, it is a complete opposite of multiplexer. So instead of having multiple input, it will have single input. Instead of having multiple output, it will have, sorry, instead of having single input, it will have multiple output. Therefore, we can define demultiplexer. Demultiplexer as a digital switch, which will have single input and the multiple output. So this is the symbol for dream multiplexer. And in short, we also call dream multiplexer as Gmax. And if you recall about multiplexer, we call multiplexer in short as Mux. Now in case of dream multiplexer, we call Gmax. So this is symbol for Gmax and you have a input and you have a multiple output and you have a select line the number of select line that we require in demultiplexer or multiplexer will depend on the type of demultiplexer or type of multiplexer now in case of demultiplexer we have different type of demultiplexer 1 to 2 1 to 4 1 to 8 1 to 16 now, if you take one example, one to four, one to four demultiplexer. In case of one to four demultiplexer, you have two select line. So if you recall how we find the value of select line in when we construct the multiplexer. Now, similarly, for demultiplexer, we look into output. In case of multiplexer, we look into input in order to find the select line. Now, 2 raised to power n, which is equal to output. Now let's find the select line for multiplexer type 1 to 4 Gmax. So 2 raised to power n, which is equal to output. What is number of output? So we have 4. Now value of n should equal to 2. So therefore, for 1 to 4 demultiplexer, we need 2 select lines. Now, in case of multiplexer, now let's consider four, two, one, where you have four input, single output. And you will find select line two raised to power n equal to input. How many input you have? Four input. So two raised to power n, which is equal to input, input is equal to four. Therefore, your value of select line will equal to two. Now, similarly, for one to eight demultiplexer, you have three select line. Now let's see one example. Uh, demultiplexer, as we know that it will act as a digital switch. So you will study how demultiplexer or how multiplexer are used when we construct 
analog to digital converter or digital to analog converter. So this multiplexer or demultiplexer will helpful when we construct analog to digital and digital analog converter. Now, if you look into this example, you have one to four DMAX where you have single input and four output. Now, at the input, you have a monitor and at the output, at D0, you have laser printer and D1, fax machine, and you have a color printer and pen, pen plotter. Now, you know, for the one to four DMAX, you need two select line. So you have select line A and B. Now, depending on select line, your output will be determined. So if you, if your select line is both low, which means which is equal to zero, then it will select the laser printer. So when your select line is both zero, so you have output laser printer. Similarly, so if your select line is both high, one, one, that means the last one, then you, you have an output, which is the pen plotter. So this is how the digital multiplexer or multiplexer are used as a switch. Now, in this session, we will look into one to four DMAX. So we will focus on one to four DMAX, how we generate output with a with a two table. And we are going to study the detail of two table and also the logic symbol and logic diagram. Now, this is the logic diagram for one to four demultiplexer. And this one is the two table and this one is logic symbol. Now, with the help of gate, we can construct demultiplexer. Uh, here is one mistake. Dmax instead of E, it should be U. So you have four N gate. One, two, three, four. Let's consider this one is one, two, and three, four. And you have two in butter, which is not gate. You have two select line, S naught and S1. And you have single input. So you know G multiplexer, it will have a single input. You have single input, which is denoted by X, and you have multiple output. In this case, we are we are considering one to four demultiplexer, so therefore you have four output. Now, with the help of select line, you are going to have output. Now, let's take is when select line is both zero zero. Now, from this this two table, so we will analyze how we will have our output. So here it it is zero. This one is zero. Now let's check this gate first gate. Now this gate connected to S dot through inverter. So which means when we have S dot equal to zero. So therefore with the help of S dot, with the help of inverter, so this will invert the input of S dot, which is, which is equal to one. So therefore you have one over here. And similarly, S1 is equal to zero. So with the help of inverter, it will invert your input of S1, so which is, equal to what out here. So you have input x equal to one. So therefore the input for this gate, first gate, you have one, one, one. So can you recall the two table of N gate? So in case of N gate, if you have all the input high, logic high, that is equal to one, then your output will be equal to one. Now, if your input Either input is zero for N gate. For example, you have three input, two input is high and one input is low. So therefore your output will be zero. Your N gate output will high only if, if all the input for N gate is high. So therefore this satisfies the condition for N gate. It has three input and three input are logic high. So therefore your output will be high. So you have output over here, which is high one. So therefore your denote will be show, will be displayed at the output. 
Now let's, so let's, this one, D1, D2, D3, all this will be zero. Now let's check this one, D3. Instead, let's check this D3. Now D3 is connected to S1 directly. Instead of connecting through inverter, it is connected directly. So therefore, you have S1 equal to zero. You have zero out here. So this will be zero. Again, D3, that this gate is connected to S0 directly instead of through inverter. So therefore, you have out here zero, zero, and you have input one. So therefore, the three input at gate number four, you have input one, and out here it is zero, zero. So therefore, all the input is not one, so it doesn't satisfy the condition for N gate to have output to have output one. So therefore, your output will be zero. Similarly, D1, out here it will be zero, this will be zero. So therefore, when your select line is zero, for both the select line, S not equal to zero, S1 equal to zero, the output display at the output side will be D0. Race D1, D2, D3 will be zero. Now, now let's uh, check when select line is one, one. Now S1 equal to one, S0 equal to one, and S1 equal to one. Now let's check this gate, first gate. Now the gate number one, N gate is connected to S1 through inverter. So you have S1 equal to one. So with the help of inverter, it will convert, invert your S1 equal to one to zero. So therefore out here, this will be zero. Similarly, S0 equal to zero, S0 equal to one. So with the help of inverter, it will invert to zero. So therefore you have input of the first gate, zero, zero, and X will be one, one, zero, zero. So therefore, so it does not fulfill the criteria to have output one for N gate. So therefore this will be zero when your select line is one, one. Now, if you check this, this gate, gate number four, so we know that Gate number four is connected to S1 and S0 directly. So you have value of S0 and S1 equal to one, both one. So therefore this two will one one. And you have input X equal to one. So you have input for gate number four, one, one, one. So therefore your output will be D3. So therefore your D multiplexer will have output D3 when select line is one, one. Race D not D1, D2, D2 will be zero. So now you can check for D1 and D2 by yourself. So if you have any doubt, please drop the message in our messenger group as well as you can email me at any time.